My main what? issue with this video is I just fail to see what the overarching problem is. This doesn't make any sense. So he conflates everybody... impressions with views. I have a video with 2.7 million views. The impressions on it are 67 million. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a hoax. This is this so bullshit, dude. This video sucks, dude. This is uh, so I can check another fucking one. I have a video. Stupid, dude. Literally, it dude. Literally is. Oh, this oh video hurts me so much because his uh, his central argument for this bullshit is false. We have debunked fact, it literally the fact on live that stream. This video is positively received. Is just like, uh, it's positively YouTuber, received because it's viewers it's watching it. It's people that yeah, don't know I what know. the fuck impressions and views are. That there's a difference between the two know. metrics. Well, so viewers look at this put, shit. Like, community tabs on. Yeah, this is what I've been saying for like, at least for yeah, now until YouTube this guy about. neuters the shit out of this thing because he talks to Microsoft and now the future is about to be dogged as shit. Oh, Fix oh, something oh. that is completely functional because I'm too fucking stupid to understand how this shit works. Ah, oh, dude, this this video hurts me. This video genuinely hurts me. IP ban anybody who is defending that first video. Hey. What's going on, guys? Um, if this video gets recommended to a lot of viewers that are outside of my channel that have no idea who I am or who my friends are, you're probably going to hate me, all right? Because we are assholes. We are dicks. But most importantly, we're entertainers. So we're not just, you know, breaking this video down point by point and responding in a mature way. You know, we're being loud, we're having some fun stuff. It's fine, all right? It's chill. But that being said, we do have legit arguments against this video. Uh... The main central point that Spiffing Brit even makes, we outright disprove immediately on live stream. So, watch the video. You might not like it. It might not be for you. But acknowledge that there are genuine points in this video and that, you know, we're not just, you know, just baselessly shitting on the video. We actually have some stuff to say that's very important that kind of just destroys this video altogether. So, keep watching. I know you're gonna dislike anyway, but whatever. I'm just, I, is it even worth making this disclaimer? I don't know. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. The Smithing Brit video. I thought it was, to be honest, I kind of thought it was terrible. This video right here. I haven't seen this. So basically, I watched this video yesterday because people were telling me that apparently the YouTube algorithm is just completely broken. It's just, it's, it's all over the place. They linked me this video: the YouTube algorithm glitch, the secret YouTube exploit. YouTube is a perfectly balanced website. Now, the grievances here is that YouTube's community tab, the way YouTube recommends content is through interaction. Community tabs, you can like them, you can comment on them, and the polls includes a third level of interaction, the voting. So basically, if you put out a community uh, tab post, and a lot of people like it and comment on it, it will recommend the post to people that are not subbed to your channel. Um, just like how, like, if you put out a video and a lot of people interact with it, it'll recommend your video to other, you know, people who aren't subbed to your channel. That's how you get new viewers. That's how you get new audience. Basically, YouTube's community tab, when they first released the feature, it only promoted the tab posts to the subscribers of your channel. Now it promotes the tab posts to potentially anybody, uh, based yeah. on, you know, a it's set number of variables. It's been doing that for, like, over a year, because I, like, even a year ago, I posted on a community tab. It gets, like, a lot of views, and then people in the comments are like, I don't even watch you. Who the fuck are you stuff all right this video came out basically saying fuck this feature uh youtube needs to remove this and only promote posts to the subscribers of the channel basically cucking all the interaction to this feature uh because k-pop annoying k-pop and corporation channels are going to abuse this to promote their channel as if that doesn't happen normally anyway and i'm just sitting here like okay so you're going to snitch out a feature on YouTube and ruin a feature that literally is harming nobody all in the good name of appealing to Daddy Susan to, like, I guess, give you better treatment on you. I don't know what the motive is here. I just think the argument is, is fucking really stupid. Is that really the video? Yeah, we can, are you, we can like, watch it. Are you, like, summarizing it wrong? Because it says, did he clickbait? Because that says algorithm glitch. That's not a glitch. That's, that's not a glitch. That's how, how that, that's how it works. Here, we can watch it. We can watch it. for over a year like that. 
Now, I really did not know if I should make this video and reveal to the world just how broken YouTube is, but then again, I have told multiple YouTube staff members well over a year ago that this overpowered algorithm bug still existed, and, well, it's only gotten worse. So I'm afraid YouTube has actually forced my hand on this one and I have to reveal to the world just how broken this feature is, because at the end of the day, if I don't end up revealing it sooner or later, the entire platform is going to be flooded with a whole bunch of K-pop and corporate YouTube channels abusing this feature to their heart's content and no one really being able to stop them. But just how broken is this exploit I hear you ask? Well, if I was to use this exploit, I could theoretically stop uploading entirely on my channel and still gain more views and interactions than I have ever managed previously. Now, of course, I'm sorry about the classically clickbaity thumbnail and title that this video probably has, but hey, this is actually broken and needs to be shown to as many people as possible, so here we are. Because if I could- Okay, right there he admits the video is clickbaity. This isn't exactly, necessarily, a major community exploit. This is rather something that YouTube should fix. Why should they fix this? That's what I want to know. So, like, theoretically, how would they even use this again? For like, if K-pops and brands use this, what are they gonna do? Go into the community posts and be make a poll like, "Who's your favorite K-pop person? Uh, this Jung Soon or whatever the fuck the other guy's name is? I don't know. I don't know any of that shit. But yeah. like, you can't. If you put a poll, you can't even put visuals, so it won't be like an at like click here to get K-pop. Like, I don't know. People just don't click it i don't know like they could theoretically do the same thing with videos like hey click on this k-pop thing if it shows up and people don't click on it whatever like i don't he seems sort of upfront i mean how upfront is he if he's coming out in the video being like ha it's kind of bait but hey you know what they just don't remove this feature Anyway, let's keep watching. ...can force YouTube's hand because everyone starts abusing it, then guess what? YouTube is forced to fix it, and that way everything is good and balance is restored to the algorithm. So what is this exploit that basically- Balance is restored to the algorithm. ...turns YouTube into easy mode. Well, balance. when you think of channels breaking YouTube, it's easy to think of a few stereotypes of viral success. The classic 17-year-old Minecraft this player, is makeup channel- If- if everybody- this- he makes it out like only a set few amount of people can abuse this feature. Anybody with a community tab and a lot of interaction on their channel can do exactly what the imaginary K-pop channels can also do. My Channels autism have anything channel that... already has community tab, I could do it on there too, like- Yeah, yeah. Any- anything that lets you, like, abuse the algorithm to break through the fucking shit that it is, is balance. So if anybody can do it- that... What's Being a successful problem? YouTuber is breaking the algorithm. Yeah, like, that's literally and, how and it works. All right, well, I just gonna pull out. It's Let's not see. necessarily breaking it. It's kind of just like utilizing it. It's not like a glitch. It's just like how it is. Mm -hmm. This channel gains over 3 billion views a month. In comparison, PewDiePie has less than a percent of that each month in terms of views. Now, of course, these are old exploits when it comes to YouTube. They're tricky to pull off. Not everyone is a 17-year-old Minecraft player, and not everyone has access to 14,000 SEO analysts. To pull off something like Coco Melon, you'd need a huge amount of market research and trend analysis to actually properly break the algorithm. For this glitch, however, we're going to be accidentally having a similar impact by using nothing more than my bare hands and about 4 minutes of work. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the most overpowered YouTube feature is the YouTube Community Posts and Stories. That's right, it's those little YouTube features that got added in a few years ago after YouTube decided to create its own legally and copyright free distinct versions of the basic features of Snapchat and Twitter. Well, I'm afraid, in fact, these new features are completely and utterly broken. Now, when it comes to content creators who actually abuse the community posts, well, guess what? Allow me to present to you none other than Dream. That's right, one of the brand new largest channels on YouTube. He exploded across the entire year of 2020, where he went from over the span of just two years, less than 100,000 subscribers, to now well over 16 million. How did he do this? Well, not only did he make a whole bunch of very algorithmically optimized Minecraft content, he also used the community tabs as much as possible. Dream averages around about one to two community posts a month, and his community posts are garnering millions and millions of views each. Dream is then one to two a month? McDonald's? Wait, how is that spamming? One or two a month? That's not that. To make I'm a community sure you... tab, it, uh, to make a community post, though, you can literally... What? How... Okay, how often does he use this? A month ago? How is that spamming? What? Spamming is it's like not. using it every day. Spamming is like using it as if it's yeah. Twitter. That's not... That's not spamming. Spamming would be like if he's making a community post that like doesn't need to be made because all of these are like okay I have a new merch coming out whatever it seems like made for a reason Spamming would be like hi guys. What's your favorite Minecraft mob? No, Creeper, just because just he or... gets a lot of interaction on his community tab doesn't mean he's abusing anything Okay, I'm down. so glad that I'm not the only body I'm not the only person who watched this video on my own. It was pulling my hair out. All right, it, this gets to a point, by the way. Community tab section to push his videos even harder in recommendations. But just how on earth does it work? And how can you abuse this feature to become exactly like Dream? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got an algorithm exploit to show off. Now it is going to take a little bit of wordy mathematics, but trust me, they're all very simple, and they are necessary to understand just how broken this exploit is. So let's throw ourselves into it. Now, what are YouTube community posts? Well, if you're on PC or you're on mobile and you only follow a few select creators, then there's a small chance that you've actually never run into one of these bad boys. However, if you're on mobile and you've accidentally clicked on one single K-pop music video, then enjoy the fiery monstrosity of spam that has now been sent your way. Community posts are a feature that YouTube added way back in 2019, and they're honestly a great addition to the platform. 
Hey guys, do you want to know a really cool hack on YouTube? Uh, this is a crazy exploit on YouTube to uh, not get recommended shit you don't want to watch. Uh, clear your search history and turn off your watch history. That just kills it right no, there. No, you, yeah. no, there's something else you can do too. You can right click on a video. Go, guys, you're watching the stream right now. Scroll down, right click on any video on your sidebar. Well, not right click. Go to like the three dots and right on it, there'll be add to queue, save watch later, save the playlist. And then there's one called not interested. You click not interested, it won't recommend content like that again. <gasps> you yeah. can literally manipulate the algorithm yourself. My main what? issue with this video is I just fail to see what the overarching problem is. This doesn't make any sense. It was intended for a new way for creators to send out announcements or do Q&As on their channel without creating tiny announcement videos which ruin their own channel's average video statistics. Now, of course, any channel with more than 1,000 subscribers has access to this feature, and so, naturally, basically everyone on the internet tried them. And generally speaking, they didn't perform well at all. So the feature is almost completely utterly abandoned by all content creators on the platform. The reason they didn't perform well is because, well, they're a brand new feature, no one knew how to use them, audiences didn't know how to interact with them, and more importantly, because everyone tried to do them at the exact same time, they were massively oversaturated in the algorithm. So everyone abandoned them. Now picture this, you are YouTube. You just made this exciting brand true? new feature, and have, none of your creators every used YouTuber abandoned in community tabs i'm pretty sure most people use it like when the feature first came months. out i don't think anybody when there is when the feature first came out there was like no interaction on the post i don't think many people were using this shit nowadays because of guess what guys youtube introduced a feature the feature was shit so they improved it and then magically people started using the feature this guy's making a video saying hey we need to go back to the old way where posts got no interaction because they're intrusive to the user and they need to go and K-pop organizations can use this to their advantage. Wow, dude. As if they don't use other aspects of the algorithm to their advantage as well. Did we not go through T-series before, right? Corporations taking over YouTube is going to happen whether or not the community tab exploit is there or not. This video doesn't make any sense, dude. Like, everybody was leaving this video. You got to watch this. You got to see this. This video is so based. It, it exposes YouTube. For what? For also, what? Like, how big is this exploit realistically? Because, okay, six days ago I made a community post with a poll, as you were saying earlier. It has 3.6k votes, 200 upvotes, and 34 comments on a channel with 200k subscribers. How is that astronomical okay. in any There's sense? There's still of the 15 word? minutes left in the video. Can I make a prediction? What's that? Okay. I predict that this guy is going to rediscover how keywords work in search engine optimization in 2021. This guy's going to be like, if you put certain words in a community tab post, it does better. Yeah, no, that's, exa that's exactly what he's about to do. And oh people are saying God. in the chat, the video doesn't say that. Okay, what is he suggesting here? This video, what the is video the problem? The video doesn't say much of anything. What is, what is the problem? What is the overarching problem here? And what is the solution that he proposes? He's literally just snitching to YouTube, telling them to fix something that's not a problem. And the worst part is, is YouTube is probably going to cuck because everybody watched this video, sucked this dude's ass, and said this was a great video. And everybody's so hell-bent on YouTube. YouTube sucks. So therefore, anytime somebody criticizes it, they're 100% right. Okay, now they're going to cuck a feature that was actually really useful for channels uh, because of this guy snitching to YouTube. I hate this. I hate this video so much. There's not. There's nothing of value in this. I don't because guess necessarily what hate it. I'm just like confused. I think this guy's just like dumb. Like I don't know what his like end goal is. I don't think he's being malicious here. I don't think he's lying. Dude, this guy. This guy's got two million subs, and he just figured out there's an algorithm to YouTube, and somehow this is a problem. Yeah, I think he's just dumb. The the problem is people don't think. If you frame something in the right way and make yourself sound intelligent, they'll listen to whatever the fuck you say. Yeah. He presents something as if it's a overarching problem that needs addressing, and he's got numbers to back it up. Blah blah blah. The thing is, this is that this video like doesn't a... have any substance. Like, this, what is this? Is why Nerd City. This City's feels like, so well. uh, yeah, this feels yeah, like literally. a less severe version, a very, very, very less severe version of YouTube Wake Up. You literally like a less severe version. This of feels like a Nerd City Nerd video, City. but like the arguments are just complete dog shit. So, well, this so like this is almost Nerd exactly City like. <laughs> Like, like, I didn't want to like make the Nerd joke. City's video on the on the YouTube algorithm. I might clip the, I might clip this as a video, useless, all right? So I'm like, minimizing. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm minimizing damage here. I don't want to get dislikes on my video because I'm shit talking a video that everybody's yeah. stuck in the ass of. But it's like, 
I don't know. Let's keep watching. It doesn't perform well and it's clunky to use. Are you going to A, scrap the feature and try again, or B, make improvements to it while subtly boosting its promotion on the back end? And so began the death snowball of chaos, where every few minor updates to the community feature saw it gain a minor boost in the algorithm. This, of course, still didn't make the feature popular with creators because everyone had a bad memory of the community tab when they were first introduced, and so they never returned to give them another try. But of course, with no one actually using the community posts and YouTube repeatedly boosting it in the back end, oh no, YouTube had just created the perfect storm that launches these posts into the stratosphere of the algorithm. My goodness. Now, of course, before I go any further, I would like to thank my very lovely contacts at YouTube, Microsoft, and a non-disclosed K-pop record label for helping me see just how broken this feature is. So thank you very much for your help, you majestic tea-drinking buggers. Oh, so he's already in contact with YouTube. Okay, so this feature, by the way, community tabs are about to become worthless in like a month. So just well, so I'm you gonna know. spam the fuck out of them, dude. New community post every day, boys. Also, I do want to disclose that this feature is fantastic, and alongside the new channel membership- Well, I hope your community posts don't get any likes, Nick, or any interaction, because that's immoral, Why would so. you complain about a feature that helps the little guy out? Yes! I don't Why? Get it. Bro! This, this this video frustrates the shit out of me. Well, you don't understand, yeah, like, the Asians might get big off of it, dude. Those K-pop <laughs> people could really abuse this. Okay. Those fucking Asians might Say start monopolizing the right. Is it just a little racist to just bash K-pop every step of the way? Like, am I the only one who hears, like, oh, those fucking K-pop? K poppers are gonna be, no, I mean, or they're gonna I mean, blow they, they, they up. It, but at the same time, it's I don't just think this like. Is the <laughs> I don't think I don't the K-pop artists are as bad as their, as their stands. I don't want to like n like knock down literally all these fucking Korean people. Yeah. I'm oh the features God. that YouTube has been adding. I'm sure the honest. stands would abuse it, but no. All right. But yeah, like, we gotta I keep watching the video. We the gotta keep. The community tab. Right. Yeah, I want to say this. Like the community tab. Like imagine if you're a creator and you work on like a uh, very. Uh, you, you're a small creator, you work on a video for a really long time, it doesn't do well, and then you post a community tab about it, and it does well because of the algorithm of the community tab. How is that a bad thing? Or, like, for example, there's been, like, some small channels where, uh, there was one small channel that made a really good video on Caterino, and I said, why, I just posted on my community tab, why does this guy only have 300 subs? My, a, it, that community tab kind of went pretty big on my channel, and that guy gained, like, I think 1k or 3k subs off it. So it's like, what? I don't know. The community tab's a good thing. I like it a lot. Alright. They've been doing some great things for content creators, so thank you very much. Plus, they also handle copyright claims better than Twitch, so it's now also the best place to live stream. I know that is a very heretical thing to say, but I'm like one of the five people who live stream on YouTube, so I guess that makes me the fifth largest live streamer on the platform. The oh, God, it's a hey, right here a with you. I think a lot of people started streaming on uh, YouTube Wait. last year. Wait a minute. Time the fuck out. I have an ultimatum for Bo Blacks if he doesn't want to post his cock. Okay. <laughs> not now, not now, not now. No, no, it's, it's actually this. relevant. It's relevant. Wait, what? If he wants to not post his cock, he has to post the Instagram wake up video in his community tab to test the feature. <laughs> oh. and see if it all, works. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> Hold on. I want to. Uh, let me watch this. Let me watch this. <laughs> now, just how broken is this feature? Well, as I mentioned, because no one actually uses it and it gets preferential treatment in the algorithm, you've ended up with an accidental goldmine where community posts receive more views than videos. Now, you would expect a community post to only be shown to the community of a channel, right? The people who watch and are majestic enough to subscribe to my channel, for example, should be the only people to receive my posts. However, that's not how the system works. Oh God, that's not how the system works. These posts are shown. To people who have just seen your videos, for example, but then they're also shown to people who watch games or topics that you make videos on. Like, for example, if I make a Skyrim video, then if you watch other Skyrim videos, you'll probably be shown my community post. But then something went wrong, because they're also shown to people who just have never heard of you or anything you do. Oh dear god, that is not how the system should work. Oh no, now this couldn't possibly- Why? Yeah, it is. Why? 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 Matter? Wait, could you believe videos that of people you've never seen before sometimes get recommended? Dude, I had the same argument on Twitter, because like, I was tweeting arguing, about like this video- Twitter alternative, right? Yeah. Didn't he say in the beginning that it's a Twitter alternative? Yeah. Dude, he, on like, Twitter, sometimes I see tweets from people I don't follow. Yeah, Holy and that happens God. all the time. Okay, I said on YouTube, that, like, okay, videos get promoted. Every time I go on the front page, there's all kinds of videos, all kinds of content that I either A, don't care to see, or B, usually I'm not subscribed to. But that's a good thing, because it's funneling new content to me. And every now and again, most of the shit I don't want to see, but every now and again I find somebody that's cool that I want to watch, all right? That's how you grow. If there's an algorithm constantly pushing new shit to new people, that's how channels grow. Why is it bad when it's community posts? Dude, what's, what's the difference? What's to happen when you sign up for a new account? You've got no previous search history or watch history. What's going to get recommended? Like, why is it bad? Why is it okay if videos are allowed to get promoted, but posts are off limits? Uh, and and I think he's saying like maybe posts shouldn't be prioritized over videos because he is saying that community posts but they are aren't. views in video. 
But yeah, wh when was the last time where a community post I unironically got more views than a video you made? Well, Literally never, never, hold on. never for me. Actually, Bobox, he's going to talk about that in the video, to be fair. All right. Apparently, all right. the impressions I'm can be I'm just reacting so far, so all my yeah, yeah. opinions I say here are like tentative until the video's over, all right? We're going to so. get to that part, but apparently community posts gather up way more total views. Oh, yeah, well, oh, he yeah, counts impressions. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, shut the fuck up, all right? We're gonna get there. Listen, all right? <laughs> he talks about how community posts rack up a shitload more impressions than the views on a video, and that's a problem. I'm sitting here saying, um, yeah, of course posts are gonna naturally draw more impressions than views on a video because it takes somebody two milliseconds to look at your post, whereas it takes somebody a lot more time, effort, and commitment to watch your video. So of course your posts are gonna have 12 million impressions and your videos are only gonna have 2 million views. That is, that is natural. That makes sense. But he conflates impressions on a post to views on a video and I, says it's wait, such a big impressions problem. impressions on a video its own statistic? I think so. Impressions is like when you see the video. It's not when you click on a community post. It's just like when people see a post. Yeah. Possibly be exploited for profit now, could it, YouTube? No, there's no way anyone would do that. No, we're all too kind and generous. No one would exploit the algorithm, YouTube. But the so thing is, of course, I'm an exploiter, and I don't just want this chat. post. Huh? It's only on mobile. This is only on mobile that people are seeing this as well. You don't even get these on desktop? So, no, you don't. Okay. You don't get this in your all right, dude. You, can't, you can right. barely even see them. Yo, a little bit of an editor's note. Apparently... For clarification, community posts still show up and recommended on the PC version of YouTube. I, I, I've i seen, like, people have been saying, like, yeah, I get it on my PC desktop YouTube. So just in the, you know, in an effort to be fair here, just throwing that out there. Nice. To be viewed by the same amount of people who watch a video, because I know that these community posts can reach audiences that my videos never can. So how do we guarantee that more people see this community post? Well, when oh, it comes to God. videos actually being pushed in the algorithm, YouTube uses four general metrics to decide who should see what video: the title of the video, the description of the video, the tags in the video, and finally the actual video game or topic that the video is covering. That way, the algorithm can ensure that the right person sees the right video. And generally speaking, the algorithm does a decent job of it. But the issue is, community posts don't have titles, they also don't have tags, and they also don't have designated topics. So how on earth does YouTube decide who to show the community post to? Well, it judges this entire metric based off of the key terms that are in the community post itself, meaning if, I don't know, a random British person who has a relatively decent audience and drinks a copious amount of tea would happen upon a giant list of the most popular search terms of the last week or two, and then he were to put those search terms in the community post? Oh no, and, and that meant YouTube would just recommend the post to absolutely everyone? Oh no, YouTube. <laughs> but wait, that's not all. Because guess what? YouTube also included a way to double the traction of community posts. That's right, those lovely boffins over at Microsoft did a whole bunch of testing in their community post tab and discovered if the, the owner of the account that did the community post, i.e. yourself, were to leave a comment on your own community post, then bam, that post immediately receives double the traction that it normally would. Why enough is this a feature? I have no idea. Now, I have exploited this feature before. That's right. In the past two years ago, I used a community poll to gain thousands of subscribers by simply having it appear in the recommendations of people to remind them to subscribe to me. This is when I first started to notice the community posts were completely broken, as at the time, 10% of the people who actually voted in the poll had never heard of my channel before. Now, at the time, two years ago, my channel had only 100,000 subscribers, and this post gained 27,000 votes. 70% of these votes came from my subscribers who knew my channel. This makes sense, meaning, however, that 8,100 votes from this poll were people who really shouldn't have seen the post. Now, of course, if we take the average engagement rate of YouTube, which is the metric determining how like, many damn, people I actually got a bunch of subs. Let's fix this. Dude, this guy literally tweeted something out on Hold his post. Hold the door, boys. Got Hold a bunch of subs and thought that was a problem. <laughs> yeah, this guy is a total fucking loser. I'm sorry. I don't know what chat's saying. Hey, like Nick, you gonna love you gonna love when uh this post gets neutered because he admitted he talks to people at YouTube and Microsoft. That's he's how he gathered the information. Them to make it harder for people. Yeah, like, this guy's this a guy snitch. Just like he's like, yeah, I got my subs. All right, fuck you guys. You a dick. Like it's it's like so stupid. It's like as dumb as those like fucking elitist. Uh, Why was this video necessary? Are, like, abusing the algorithm, gay shit. Like it's like, what are you gonna do? Get mad? Like baiting metadata. Someone in chat says he loser. doesn't think it's a problem. Problem, though then why the fuck did he make this yeah, video obviously he thinks it's a problem obviously shit, he dude. thinks this is a problem Holy he literally shit, titles the video dude. youtube is Shut a perfectly balanced up, website in a sarca obviously sarcastic manner dude the you're fucking YouTube dumb exploit the secret youtube exploit that oh you just made the video about. just to you know conveniently just let everyone know hey it's a thing you can do and there is totally at all no indication that this was a problem at all dude he's you're like fucking reading a stupid. list of its flaws and you're like well he hasn't specifically said they should remove it yet so we don't know for sure <laughs> like i'm sorry please like drink so i mean never mind um look at his going. other gaming video names oh your argument oh he always titles his videos hyperbolic shit shut the fuck up dude oh my yeah, I, I i don't even have a response is like I, I don't know. You're just too dumb to even follow up. 
ranked with a video or a poll, and the rate that YouTube discloses is, is an average of 4%. Now, of course, that metric is exceedingly high, and the real number is probably much lower than that. One in 20 people do not interact with a community post. It is probably closer to 1 or 2% of people interact with a community post, but I don't want to sensationalize the statistics at all, so we'll be using the higher end of measurements. So if only 4% of people engage with the post, then that means a total of 200,000 people saw this post without ever seeing my content before. Now, for a channel with only 100,000 subscribers, it's pretty insane to know that 200,000 people who aren't subscribed to you are able to see one of your community posts. Especially when you Why? consider that anyone who interacted with the poll is more likely to get recommended my videos in the future. And this effect was exactly what happened on my channel. The effects of the poll were pretty much instantaneous for my channel. I gained 8,000 subscribers in one single day, and all my future videos had a massively increased viewership. Now, this snowball, of course, continued into the 1.8 million subscribers that you now see here today. But remember, this was two years ago with a tiny channel that had 100,000 subscribers. But what wait, 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 now wait, 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 pause. So, he's saying 200,000 people saw the post, that would, uh, but only 4% engaged in, in it. That would be the equivalent of them, like, scrolling past it and just seeing it. So that would yeah. be impressions, right? Just yeah, like impressions, impressions is not on interactive. videos. Yeah, so he conflates impressions with views. Oh no, it, no, impressions equal like the people who saw it and the people who interacted with it. It's just the total people who what, saw what it. What do you get on Twitter? I get like 14 million impressions per month, and I'm yeah. only followed so by 20,000 people. Yeah, so if we people. go to my analytics right now, the impressions are going to be always like astronomically well, uh, higher wait, wait, hold on now, than hold what on. you actually get. My wait, pin, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. My pinned tweet got 73,000 impressions, but my last video only got 8,000 views. This is a problem that needs to be addressed. Why is my Twitter so broken? <laughs> Twitter needs to neuter the shit out of their tweets. They need to stop showing my tweets to people because it's outrageous that my tweets get that many impressions, but my videos on YouTube don't get that many views. This is a problem okay. that needs addressing. So here's Dude, the, I, the, I got 1.6 million impressions on Twitter in the past All right, month, so this is my impressions followers. on YouTube. We're using the same platform. In January, my impressions were 23.6 million. My views are 2.7 million impressions are uh, so okay so my impressions on my all my videos for the month is 23 million but his impressions on that one community post is 200k and he's saying that's a problem wait, wait, what what Let's usually see, yeah. impressions are way more than 200k Okay, I got my 28 day summary impressions on Twitter let's take a look at my how many impressions did I get on uh on the YouTubes here Eight million, there you go. Okay. Eight million. How many I get? Eight million. Okay, I, they're actually pretty comparable. But wait, that's normal though. That's because that's how impressions work. We're not we're not talking about views here. We're talking about impressions. Yeah, we're talking about impressions. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this yeah is you, so your views he, he's okay. treating impressions like views, and because here's the difference between community posts. Once you scroll past it, you see the whole post. But with videos, it's like separation between seeing the thumbnail and actually clicking on the video and yeah. viewing it. So he's treating an impression. He's treating community posts like views when, in reality, he'd be treating it like impressions. What is a better way to he's handle this? See, he's gonna impressions see the and not engagement. Because the people see the post whether they consent to seeing the post the post or not. So that means we should treat it as an impression because they don't actively choose to see that now. community post. So it should be treated as an impression because a click through rate. It, it, because a view would be like, I chose to watch this. And yeah. the impression is, this was served to me, but I didn't get to choose to see it. <laughs> had 1.8 million subscribers. Didn't and he, did he talk to big, like, people in the chat are, like, were literally brain dead. Didn't he say in the beginning that he told, like, YouTube employees to literally fix the exploit? He said he was yeah. talking to them. <laughs> I thought he said he was talking, I thought he literally was telling them to fix the exploit. Well, hold on. Let's, 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 I think he, he, I think he says something at the end, kind of saying that, if he didn't say it already. The exact same post. Well, there was only one way to find out. So I did two community posts just to test how broken this feature was. The first post was just a standard picture post containing a picture of my absolutely gorgeous corgi and some text alongside a metric ton of popular YouTube search terms. This post over a 24 hour period managed to gain 81,000 likes and over 2 million views. 2 million views in 24 hours is more than double what any of my videos have ever achieved. I've only had one video gain 1 million views over a 24 hour period, and that is it. The fact that a community post is able to beat that is not only unfair, it is just insane. <laughs> now, after five days. No, because impressions are not <laughs> views. They're, you're comparing apple. You're literally comparing apples to orange. Oranges. That doesn't make any sense, dude. Exactly. I think, you, I think yeah. there's even a like an impression metric that you can check in your fucking like. Hold on. Yeah, there is. Bro. So like, so, you can literally compare one to one. Yeah. No, dude, he's, if, he's if comparing I go and... the wrong statistics. He's comparing the complete wrong statistics. So when he says, "Oh, only one video of mine got a million views in 24 hours," he should be looking at the impressions of that. And I guarantee the impressions of that are probably like 100 million. Or dude, something. is it? People in chat are telling me, dude, oh, this guy. My video, wait, my video on Deji that got 180,000 views has two million impressions. 
exactly. That's unfair. Well, uh, um, so uh, hold wait, on, guys, uh, I just realized something. And hold the on. Point... This algorithm glitch. This algorithm glitch exists on Twitter too. If I tweet out something with a bunch yeah, of like yeah, the most we... popular hashtags right now, that tweet's gonna get a shit ton of impressions because people so, are scrolling past okay. it constantly. And, and, we and gotta fix this. Audience, the audience, the significance of what we're saying here is this whole thesis of the video is community posts get recommended more than videos, but he's comparing the wrong statistics. So in reality, videos actually get recommended way more than community posts if you compare the right metrics, which would be impressions. You are more likely to see a video than you are to see a community post. Yeah. Now, more people are likely to see community posts and click on a video because you can see community posts without interacting at all. You just, like, scroll past it rather than actually have to, having to click and engage on a video. Do you yeah. guys get it in chat? So his whole thesis of the video is just incorrect. That post is my yeah, impressions too. are just seeing it on the screen. You don't have to yeah. interact yeah. with it at all. Yes. You, don't have to, you can't, like, clicking Wait, it would be a completely different But metric. the same thing is... Uh, but yeah, yeah but since community posts, you just see it and read it. People in no chat are telling me this know. is like the exploit guy. This is a guy that breaks shit. Apparently, he doesn't yeah. even know what the fuck he's talking about. If he fucks that up, this We're is like De this is Destiny talking to the stocks guy. Bro. Yeah, they literally, it dude. Literally is. Oh, this oh video hurts me so much because his uh, his central argument for this bullshit is false. We have debunked fact, it literally the fact on live that this stream. This video is positively received. It's just like uh, it's positively YouTuber, received because it's viewers watching it. It's people that yeah, don't know what know. the fuck impressions and views yeah. are. That there's a difference between the two metrics. Well, so viewers look at this put, shit. Like, fucking community tabs. On. Yeah, this is what I've been saying for like at least for years. now until YouTube this guy neuters the shit out of this thing because he talks to Microsoft and now the future is about to be dogged as shit. Uh, because this guy Any, snitched to YouTube that about to it. Anyone know anything about how the YouTube algorithm works is fucking stupid and has no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. The website is literally funny video website. Sometimes work, sometimes do not work. That is yeah. how it works. Well, no one can have an exact uh, def definition of how the algorithm works, but it, I mean, there are people who know like general stuff. Let's yeah, keep they watching. do general stuff until I, they I change mean, it a week later and then it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Let's people who can catch like up with it. You put tags it. in description and sometimes it comes up higher in search results. This shit like Nobody that, actually but... knows. People have a lot of ideas. All right, all right. Let's keep watching. Ideas might Should... work, but nobody it's actually It's like feeling knows. around, yeah. Guys, guys. 130,000 likes, and if we assume that 4% of the people that viewed the post actually liked it, then we can estimate that the post has been viewed 3.2 million times. That is over three times the average amount of views that I get on a video. So if we were to take a more realistic oh percentage of between 2 and 3%, then there's a real chance that that post has actually been seen by 6.5 million people. This is more than my best video has ever managed, and it's on a community post, which has just been uh, spammed. Uh, 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 oh, Dude, if his video has 3.2 million views, it probably has 10 plus million impressions. Literally, no, it probably has more. It wait, probably has like Bull Blacks, million don't you have a video? Bull Blacks, don't you have a video with a million views? Yes. Go tell us the impressions. It's, it's right in the impressions right now. Impre okay, Actually, yeah. yeah let me impressions are typically ten times more than the views. Or, no, they're typically uh, that ninety times more. My bad. Uh, let me uh, let me look on my video. Okay. I have a video with 2.7 million views. The impressions on it are 67 million. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a hoax. This is this so bullshit. This video sucks, dude. Sucks, dude. This is uh, I can so check another one. I have a video. Stupid, dude. I have a video with 1.2 million views, and that has 16 million impressions. Jeez. Uh, oh another God. video with 1.2 million views. Uh, it has. 7.9 million impressions. Yep, I've got a video with 2.9 million views, 8.6 million impressions. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I'll link it right now. It's his, like, Minecraft, uh, it's nice like, Minecraft. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. The numbers. Yeah. Oh, no. The numbers. Ah. A whole bunch of copy-pasted lists of top search terms, and then the comment section what of that community- Wait, wait, Connor says my 200k view video has 1.5 million impressions. Yeah, it's usually, like, astronomically yeah. higher post is just my That's audience spamming even more insane search terms. But if you think this is overpowered, well, you haven't seen anything yet. That post was like a refreshing cup of Yorkshire tea red label. This next exploit post is like- Oops. Ah, oh, fuck, the video's all fucked up. Huh? Why can I play it? <laughs> dude, it's only just like, dude's like out of content. It's gotta go. <laughs> Hello, I want the video play. 
is like Yorkshire tea gold being pumped directly into your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present to you the community poll. Okay, so before I show off just how broken the community poll is, I need to explain to you just a few ways the basic algorithm on YouTube works. So the moment beyond videos, titles, descriptions, and tags on YouTube, YouTube generally promotes content based off of audience interaction. If the audience likes the video and comments yeah. on the video, well, those are two interactions, and YouTube loves interactions. But what YouTube really loves are not yeah. 1,000 people liking the video and 1,000 people commenting on it, but if the exact same 1,000 people both liked and commented on the video, that multiple interaction really is what matters. It's a sign that the video was so impressive that audiences wanted to engage with it as much as possible. You can even try this out at home by liking this video and commenting on it. Let's see what I did there. Because it really- Oh, so he gets a benefit from the system, but we all don't. Yeah, okay. It does yeah, prove he... that you really enjoyed the video. <laughs> well, you complain about society, but you- He you kind of baited in people into this video. <laughs> this is like every up. socialist person making more money than like the average person watching it. I'm checking the analytics on my 500k view video right now. Where do I check to see? Everybody like and comment oh, on all my videos right now. Go, 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 go. So my video on the crazy cat guy, 500k views. 2.7 million impressions. Wow, what an unfair broken system, obviously. You have to remember that the vast majority of people don't like a video and don't comment on a video. Hey, on average, 30% of people don't even watch a video after the 30 second mark. That is an insane statistic, but it's just the world we live in. Now, a community poll is a unique bit of content on YouTube as it also allows a third way for users to interact. They can interact on the poll, that's right. Now, if we think the same person liking and commenting has two times the impact on the algorithm, then think that someone voting, liking, and commenting as having three times the impact. Because if anything, it has more than three times the impact. It's like it cubes the impact. It is absolutely insane just how broken voting is. So I decided to make a poll. It was a very basic poll, it was an exact copy of the poll I did two years ago, and so after being up for less than in two days, that community poll has already overtaken the previous post, which has been up for almost six days. This level of triple interaction basically is guaranteed that the community poll- Dude, I've never seen a guy game the system, win, and then think that's a problem. <laughs> it's like, so fucking Do you dumb, think, dude. you know, like, you know Poncha, how he's, like, getting, like, 30k subs a day? Do you think he's thinking right now, fuck, dude, that YouTube is so broken, I need to This guy's gonna this. make a whole video on how to double stack ads and how it's making people extra money. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so, okay, yeah, 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 putting two, putting two ads in the same second, which is an exploit. Oh, sorry, exploit. It's, uh, it's a scummy business YouTube tactic needs to every fix YouTube this. They're does. making too much money on their platform. Yeah. Dude. Like, it, oh yeah, god, the simple please, exploit. Just literally jump yeah, off a bridge. Just let <laughs> All right. <laughs> you literally well, just open the viewer's twice. third eye when they realize they get two ads in a row. Yeah. Uh, Prim <laughs> that's why you should have been on premium. No. <laughs> Dude, I love when they post on Reddit, like, why is YouTube double stacking the ads now? Yeah. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> my favorite YouTuber, and he's not asking, he's not fixing Dude, it. Dude, Ricegum posts that shit on Twitter. Yeah, Even it was Ricegum. Ricegum was like, Dude, YouTube's getting crazy with these double ads. It's like, how does, this guy has 10 million subs, and even he's <laughs> he not in no on the joke. Idea. He doesn't, he, do he could have doubled his revenue this entire, what, every, every night sis could have gotten him, like, twice the money that that video probably made Get him. In the as many views and interactions as the post which already has gotten more views than my normal videos. Now, this community poll has been up for less than two days and it already has more likes than 99% of the videos on my channel. I only have two videos on this channel which have more than 141,000 likes. This is completely and utterly broken. Equally, by looking at the results of the poll, you can already notice something. 11% of the people who voted in this poll selected the Who Are You YouTube is Broken option. This basically tells us that they don't know who our channel is, they've never seen any of our content before, and this is absolutely insane because this means they're- Wow, YouTube is broken or by functioning exactly like how it was programmed. Or they lied. We're just taking their word for it that everyone hit the who are you button actually is a who are you. Maybe they just picked that answer because it was the goofy answer. They want to be quirky. I don't know. 11% also, by the way. What a statistic. Tens of thousands of people who are seeing this poll who have never heard of me before. But because they voted in this poll, they're going to start getting recommended my videos. Because guess Wait, what? That you literally told with... people to like the post, though. You literally, like, okay, if something gets a lot of likes and a lot of comments and a lot of votes... YouTube sees that people like it and they promote it more. I and put you up a told poll this people morning. To and obviously it's abnormal in comparison to your channel because you directly told people to like for an experiment. You, how is it proof <laughs> when you? Too. Oh my god, it's when it's unnatural. I don't. These tens of thousands. Dude, of I hate these YouTube exposed videos. They're always terrible. Yeah. Have shown interest in my content and will now be shown it. So potentially, if you selected this option here, you might be a subscriber watching this video later down the line. In which case, hello. But the thing is, the 11% mark here is actually deceptive because it is a greatly higher number than that who have actually seen it who don't know what my channel is. The reasoning is simple: the average interaction rate for my channel, whilst it does sit around about 3%, it gets lower and lower the more people don't actually know who I am. Because people who subscribe to me generally have a 6% chance of interacting with my content, people who don't subscribe to me but watch my content have a slightly lower percentage chance, and people who have never heard of my content probably have a less than 1% chance of actually interacting with my poll or even liking it or doing anything with it. These people aren't likely to react in any way. 
away, and yet thousands and thousands of them Wait, have, which means you were, there are thousands uh, you of- You were putting, like, solid statistics behind completely random like, yeah, engagement yeah. estimates. Dude, less what, than 1% well, of people who actually see it interact with my poll. Like, what is the less- I mean, where, yeah, but, you know? yeah, based on what statistics, may, like, depending on what the video subject is, depending on what the community post subject is, or whatever, the interaction level can vary completely- Guys, we reached out to two that. scientists from Harvard. They said that when... <laughs> it's like completely random. You can't add solid statistics to people's behavioral patterns. We did the Ouija YouTube board videos. challenge on my community post. <laughs> Guys, like... when we reached out to the community post people, two scientists from Harvard got us a real Minecraft potion. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Like, okay, so if I go to my videos right now... I can probably, I can like show you how like inconsistent. Okay. So I have a video with 35k views that has 5k, 5k likes. And then I have my previous video, which has 64k views and it has 5.3k likes. So more people interacted, almost twice as many people interacted on my newer video in terms of likes than my other video because of the topics and everything. So you can't, it's just too inconsistent to use as a, solid measuring for everything like, wait gonna... nine percent said i'm not subscribed and eleven percent said who are you youtube is broken he put like multiple for the same thing one of them is just this is gonna be in a video isn't it like that doesn't even imply anything like yeah that means it's random that means like 22 percent of the of it is just okay in order to take this poll like trying to take it seriously you have to like add two of the options together you have to and discard have to this 22 percent data 20%. and like redo the math ah and then the you, you don't know how many people voted and liked and commented yeah yeah, yeah. Who didn't? Whilst this only makes up around about 40,000 votes on this poll, really the statistic is even higher. Because those 40,000 votes probably represent only 0.2% of people who have seen this poll who actually fit into probably. this category. Meaning there are millions of people who shouldn't <laughs> have seen this poll who have been recommended. I love when but people total, present data and say probably. Just how many people have seen this poll. Now, in total, this post has 500,000 interactions on it, making it the most interacted piece of content I've ever created. And if we take 500,000 interactions oh and then imagine God. that one in 20 people actually there's no way that's true. <laughs> that's not there's, true. It's one something mu like million view video. If this has 500,000 interactions, that's literally impossible. <laughs> that is, he literally just the, lied. Video right now. So, the interactions on that video, for likes and dislikes, it looks like it's about 253k. Now we can scroll down to the comments, and... This guy doesn't know that you could check, he doesn't know that views and interactions aren't the same thing. He literally has no well, idea he does that know, and he's just completely just video. lying. I'm, I don't know. I don't want to assume malintent, but I'm just saying, actually. like, no, just if you're a YouTuber, dumb, like adding but, but like, if you're a YouTuber that like two million subs and you you studied the algorithm so much to the point that you figured all this shit out, you're telling me you don't know how to use the impressions page? Like, come on now, come on now, dude. Like, I'm not even like a fucking numbers guy on YouTube. I'm a streamer, dude, and even I knew that like, you know how to load that shit up. I can look up my impressions right now. I don't know. I just don't get this. End prediction of just how many people have seen this post so far. In total, we're able to predict that this post here, which has been up for less than two days, has been seen by 12.8 million people. That's right, 12.8 million people. I Not don't have impressions. Million impressions. I don't have access to a community that can even draw 12.8 million views on a video. Impression. This video itself will never achieve 12.8 million views. This is completely and utterly broken. It should not work this way. It was never intended to work this way. And dear God, YouTube, please fix your algorithm. Remember no! this pop <laughs> You're literally brain dead. Impressions. Fix something that is completely functional because I'm too fucking stupid to understand how this shit works. Ah, oh, dude, this this video hurts me. This video genuinely hurts me. Dude, once you figure out that like views on a community tab is more akin to impressions than actual views because of the lack of like needing to have a click through rate and clicking it just completely like dismantles this whole video piece by piece like we were talking about the other imperfections in this video whatever throw all the data away that one fucking fact that you don't have to click on a community post it just is there the whole thing Wholesales just there without any extra interaction completely just dismantles the entire I comparison love between when views and uh, community post views. I love when guys who have connections oh like are open about their connections with YouTube, how Microsoft even are making these swooping call to action posts. They're awesome. 
poll has only been up for less than two days. By the time this video is released, this poll will have been up for around about four days, and I can hazard a prediction that it will probably be sat instead somewhere around about the 20 million view mark. Of course, we are using the 1 in 20 interaction rate. If we were to use a more realistic 1 in 40 interaction rate, we're going to be able to work out probably a more accurate quantity of people who viewed this video. Guaranteed this that one video in that we're watching right now has more impressions than 20 million. Guaranteed. It's just, 40 people it's just so who saw this post interacted with it, then ladies and gentlemen, this post right here has achieved 25.7 million views. That's right, this poll right here has achieved 25 million views. I just can't. I just literally can't. Now, if you're a YouTuber and you're sat there and you're watching this video, heck, you might not even be a big YouTuber. You might be a YouTuber with 100,000 subscribers, in which case, congratulations, you have access to this community tab. What I want you to do, ladies and gentlemen... You get it at 1k, not 100k. Yeah, he called small YouTubers 100k. You get it at 1k, not 100k. He's like, yeah, congrats, no, you have access to the future. No, he's like, oh, if you're a smaller YouTuber, like 100k, he's literally calling 100k people silver Well, it's not even that, it's not even like YouTuber. calling them small YouTuber. He's literally just like, at, maybe he just doesn't know. You get it at 1k, not 100k. No, he said, he said 1k early in the video. He knows. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you know. is to break the internet. We need to force YouTube's hand to get this feature fixed, and we're going to do so using Why? the only way I know how. By exploiting the system so hard, we force- Come on, fucking IP ban that fucking person who said this guy's not saying that we need to get it fixed. <laughs> IP ban whoever the fuck said that, like, literally 30 minutes ago. Scroll up <laughs> mods, find them, fucking ban Hold that on. guy every fucking account he has. Holy shit, dude. This guy's like, oh, well, he's not saying it's a bad thing. Literally go fuck yourself, bro. Get the fuck out of here, dude. In which case, congratulations, you have access to this community tab. What I want you to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to break the internet. We need to force YouTube's hand to get this feature fixed, and we're going to do so using the only way I know how, by exploiting the system so hard we force their hand. So what I'd like you to do, ladies and gentlemen, is very simple. If you're a content creator, then go over to the community tab of this video here and copy and paste this entire poll and post it on your own channel. You will get thousands of subscribers, you will get millions of views. This feature is broken and it shouldn't exist, it needs to be fixed. And the only way we're going to get it fixed is to exploit everything Holy along the way. Shit. And also it's- Wait a minute, his plan to get this fixed <laughs> <laughs> is to people use it. milk the shit out of it so he gets a bunch of subs from it so that when it eventually does get passed, assuming that YouTube bows to this, he already won at the end and now nobody else can ever do this again. Why Why is this considered a good video? I'm so confused. Because I am so fucking confused, dude. Like, this is insane. So after we watched the first video, we found out he made a follow-up video and, well, here's our reaction. This man- Wait, part two? He made a follow-up. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. we broke YouTube. It's not every day you can convince thousands of the top YouTubers on the platform to exploit the algorithm. Now, of course, if you've been on YouTube for the last few days, you've probably noticed people spamming search terms in comment sections and that your front page is now filled with more polls than your average gentleman's club. So what on earth happened to get us here? Well, following I did the not notice YouTube that algorithm exploit video, hundreds but... and hundreds of YouTubers posted community polls. Today, we'll be talking about the outcome and reach of this exploit, and equally, we'll cover all of the new discoveries and even talk about the lovely response from YouTube regarding the last video. Now, of course, I have done viral videos before, like the Steam Summer Sale exploits, but I've certainly never had a video that influenced the front page of Reddit and broke the YouTube homepage for millions was also balancing a YouTube feature. Oh, oh guys, we did so oh, much good. Okay. Everyone's so talking about it. Front oh, page of Reddit, oh we, we were on the front page of Reddit. Oh, everyone's, everyone, you, we, it's not every day everybody know, gets you, something you turned You know what oh. else went on the front page of Reddit? A YouTube wake up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit into Reddit actually working is, uh... exactly as intended. Because that's right, the true temporary fix to this exploit was actually to get creators to use the polls again. Ultimately, the polls were being exploited more the less people use them. So if you flood the market with polls, suddenly every creator has 1% of the promotion instead of 5 channels just having 90% of it. Unknowingly, those lovely YouTube creators have nerfed this exploit for me and actually made it so that this feature is working as intended. So pat yourselves Wait. on the back. But equally, the per <laughs> He says, because before it wasn't working as intended because not enough people were using community posts, so everybody's community posts who got promoted we're getting over promoted. Now he's saying that since everyone's using it, that it's just balanced out naturally. Is he retarded? People... Yeah, he is. He, he literally is. Jesus <laughs> fuck, dude. For a start, YouTube polls are more broken than I ever expected, and at the same time, we got one key aspect of the exploit completely and utterly wrong. So, let's begin with the most broken example of community polls. Allow me to introduce you to this channel that I recently discovered. It's a channel with no name and 600,000 subscribers. <laughs> dude, what? Wait, huh? <laughs> How? That guy's been around for a while. How? Wait. I didn't know about that guy. He's really good with keywords. <laughs> what the? He's so good what? with keywords. His channel has none of them <laughs> in the, well, the, in the channel. Discovered. It's a channel with no name and 600,000 subscribers, and yet the channel posts a community poll each day that manages to average between five and six million votes. This is insanity. How on earth could a system be so broken? Does the channel have five or six million subscribers? Bad. No. Does the channel even average five or six million views a video? No. Wait, so this is why we need to shut down the fucking community tab? Because this guy is doing it? This guy's it? gonna exploit this guy's it, dude. This one channel, he's, dude, he's, he's, he's like jealous that one guy with it. no name is getting a few million votes. Fucking Justin 
why got 500k subs because he used to comment on everyone's shit. Should we limit the comments every user makes on YouTube because Justin Y got 600k yeah, subs off of it? Yeah, Justin, we need to stop. We need to shut down the comment section. Justin Y has too many subs. I'm yeah. Oh my God, Guys, Justin Y broke straight. the system. He hasn't even uploaded a single video, but he has 600k, dude. No one argued that. What? Bobwags, pay up, bro. Look at that meme. <laughs> Should the channel be getting five and six million votes on a poll? I'm gonna hazard a guess at YouTube and say that it probably shouldn't. Oh my goodness, what a unique and creative. Why? I can't, I can't. Where's the update? Where's the update? What's the update? example. So what did we get wrong? Well, it turns out all of you lovely people down in the comment section doing your lovely SEO bombardment, guess what? That's pretty much partly meaningless. Polls are actually recommended to audiences based off of channel tags and audience demographics, not any of the content <gasps> of the actual poll. Let's he what? He fucked it up? Wait. It's even worse? Wait. Guess what? That's pretty much partly meaningless. Polls are actually recommended to audiences based off of channel tags and audience demographics, not any of the. Oh my god! <laughs> IP ban anybody who is defending that first video. Literally, oh my god! What the <sighs> fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? That's like an important as part of his argument. How is this upvoted? He literally just admitted it's all wrong. Like, it's literally, dude, it's no longer tags. It's all rape now. It's literally all rape right now. Okay. Content what of the are my channel Let's tags? say you're someone who likes to watch Minecraft and I'm it's a Minecraft content creator. Now. If you've liked my poll and you voted in it, then that poll is likely to be shown to other Minecraft people. My However, tags if are you literally Bo Blacks and Twitter verses. Alright, hold on. In search terms like PewDiePie in the description, it's not going to be shown to the audience of PewDiePie. It can only organically grow that direction by having the chain of audiences all vote and like on the poll. However, this did actually have a very odd outcome because all of the SEO bombardment basically has driven up comments across the entire board of YouTube. The percentage of increase in comments on YouTube community polls is terrifying. It's a percentage increase that not even the stock price of GameStop can equate to. So basically, even though your spamming search terms has helped creators, it hasn't done so in the way you intended, it's instead just driven up the engagement to stupid levels. And equally, something has happened that I can't even explain. My own video explaining the exploit actually was starting to get recommended to audience who'd recently started watching PewDiePie videos. This has never happened on my channel, and actually this is quite a negative thing. The reasoning is simple. I don't want PewDiePie's audience. The lovely majestic sausages like- Cause he's a Nazi! I don't- Dude, I can't. I've never seen a guy get views off of somebody else's uh, channel and been like, well, it's nice that my video got a lot of views, but I, I just I just don't want PewDiePie's views. I think this views. should be allowed. Dude, Xander Hall's out here trying to get us to disavow people who write the N-word in our comment section. This guy's like, nah, PewDiePie's viewers are too young for me. I can't. I literally can't. I can't imagine being this. This is the definition of first world ass problems, dude. I don't like th where my audience is coming from, dude. Oh, this my. guy fucking deletes comments of people arguing in his comment section, I bet, one by one. Dude. I, he seems like that kind of guy. You know how I always joke about, you know, there's too many women in chat? This is like if I made a video being like, YouTube is broken. They keep recommending my videos to women. I don't want that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Edwin Generation's view <laughs> viewers, you know? <laughs> Yourselves who are watching this video are subscribed to me because you love breaking games, you love exploits, and you love destroying platforms. Most of you don't watch PewDiePie videos. Most of you watch content creators like the Majestic- By the way, I don't want women to watch my videos, but I also won't make a, uh, I won't make a video blaming YouTube on that shit. RT game, or call me Kevin. But yes, I cannot actually explain at all why my video is getting recommended alongside PewDiePie. He is not included in the tags, he is not included in the description, he is not included in the title. I honestly have no idea. And now onto the next crazy, interesting, and broken thing. Spiff is now everywhere. That's right, I've accidentally become your brand new YouTube overlord. This was not really done intentionally, and it's entirely happening because people who are responding to creator polls are now starting to get spammed my own videos. This has meant that impressions on my channel have gone through the roof, and equally so has my subscriber count. It is terrifying. I've gained over Wait, 100 he knows subscribers what impressions in the last are. month. This isn't normal. Done. I might I accidentally be hitting- He lied, he lied, he lied. He lied 100%. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. Yeah, nah, he lied. He lied. 2 million subscribers over the next few days, and I'm definitely not prepared for it. Now, one thing we did in the background just to see how oh, broken no, these guys. polls are was we set up, up a few dummy test accounts. These are brand new YouTube accounts, they've mistake. seen no footage, and YouTube has no data upon this technical bot account. Now, what we did was we had these accounts watch an equal quantity of my videos, RT Games videos, Call Me Kevin's videos, basically creators who were similar to me. They watched exactly 10 hours of content from each of these creators. The only difference we made between these accounts was that the accounts all voted and liked my community polls. That was the only advantage I had as a creator. And then what happened? Well, the account started getting bombarded my videos over all of the other creators. These are creators who I should no basically shit. have an equal footing to. If Wait. You mean you interacted with the other- Oh my god, that's just so fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Is it you just this easy to you... just, like, fucking bust in your audience's mouth, dude? You, could just, you know like, what this reminds you know me of? 
What? This reminds me of when when that guy got a, like 20 phones and put them in a trolley and wheeled them down a road <laughs> all connected to Google Maps and was like, wow, guys, there's no traffic here anymore. All the traffic's being rerouted. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you know what the worst part of, that's going in my head right now is? I know that when I upload this stream segment as its own video, if this goes out to people that are not subbed to my channel, I know everyone's just going to fucking dislike the shit out of this video. Just because, you know, we're going against the, this is like the messiah video of YouTube. This is going to save the platform. And we're talking shit about it, you know. This is so though, fucking stupid. Dude. Even though we actually know what we're talking about. I know for a fact, if this video gets out to, uh, to random viewers, they're just going to dislike the shit out of that. And that's like the worst part of this shit, too. I take personal offense to it's just like when these videos go super viral and the guy just fucking lies. Like yeah. literally lies. Like I can pull a Hassan Piker, dude. What a weaselly little liar, dude. Yeah. What a fucking weaselly little liar, dude. I'm so glad you guys had the same reaction when I watched it the first time. That was like infinite. I'm actually painful. having more brain damage than I think you had initially watched. Yeah, I definitely. I, I'm like I'm realizing the impression thing, like it's just dude. Uh, he exploited the system and made a video that was completely not factual and then blew up his channel with it. <laughs> That's the, the biggest exploit is he's found success doing this. And probably tricked a bunch of stupid gigantic YouTubers who don't know what SEO is. I don't know how you're a YouTuber like above 10k and you don't know what like any of the fucking shit is on YouTube.